How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. Wii for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell be notified every time I make new videos. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite world or your favorite level in the game in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. What is your favorite Mario power-up? I'd really love to know. If I had to pick my favorite Mario power-up, that would probably have to be the Cloud Mario suit from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Because I love Cloud Mario so much. I just love having the ability to create your own platforms in a Mario game. I just think it's awesome. I love World 5. This world's very easy, of course, and this world's super fun to play. And World 5's my favorite world of this game. I've been looking forward to doing this world for quite a while, and I'm glad we finally get to do it. All right. I also love the elephant power-up from Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And I also really like the ice flower from Super Mario Galaxy. And I also like the propeller suit, and I really like the squirrel suit, and I also really like the cat suit. That means I also really like the squirrel suit from New Super Mario Bros. U, and I also really like the cat suit from Super Mario 3D World. I just think those power-ups are really, really cool. I love those power-ups. Another one I really like is... I love the capturing mechanic in Super Mario Odyssey. Which is the mechanic where you can capture enemies and stuff. I just think that's really cool. Just let me know in the comments below what your favorite power-up is. I would love to know what your favorite power-up is. And there we go. We got all three star coins in this level. Excuse me. We have 56 lives right now. At least wanted to get top of the flagpole so we can get a one up because you get a one up if you get top if you get the top of the flagpole. Yeah. In the original Super Mario Bros, when you got the top of the flagpole, what you the only thing you got then was just five hundred five thousand points. We're gonna battle this piranha plant now, which we don't even have to kill all the piranha plants. We can actually do this. We can actually. What all we have to do is collect the toad balloons, which are, which are um, the um, blue toad balloons. We got three one ups. So we're going to go on and do World 5 dash 2. All right. There we go. First star coin. Very easy to get. That's all you have to do. You have to use the power block to do it. You just do that. And the second one's down here, so in order to get this, you have to jump right here, bounce off. What the heck it was that? And there we go. Watch out for these giant wigglers right there. As soon as he comes back and do that. Okay, here's the part where we have to, in order to go to the secret area, we have to use one of the wigglers. And we have to go up here. 
And there we go. Very easy. That's all we got to do. And now we have to use one of the propeller blocks to propel her up. Or if you have the propeller suit, you can use it to propel her up. There we go. I'm glad we got all three star coins at least. And there we go. We was able to make it to the end. Top of the flagpole like a boss. There we go. We unlocked a path to... The tower, and there's no way we can get to 5-3. We have no choice but to do the tower. Because those vines blocked our path. So we're going to do the tower right now. This tower is unique. You have this. You have these spikes that go from side to side like this. So just be careful here. There we go. Ow. There we go. We just have to do this. First dark one, very easy. That's all you got to do. This is such a slow paced level, you have to go with the flow. Unless you have the propeller suit, of course. That's the only way you can speed run through it, is if you have the propeller suit. There we go. Now I have to use the spring to jump up here. There we go. There we go. We have to um, go to the left. And that's our second star coin. There we go. I was like, come on. There we go. We got all three star coins. Let's say they give you a power up here. They do. They give you fire flower. And we're going to take down Iggy Koopa for the first time. Alright, so... Basically what you got to do with this boss is, is you, have to, you have these platforms moving up and down. Follow Iggy's shell, and then as soon as he comes out, jump on it again. Just like that. Just like that. I don't think we've even died once yet. In World 5. Excuse me. What? 
No way to 5 3? Okay. This is redundant. I'll have to play 5 2 and then kill myself on purpose. And then after I do that, then we can um, unlock 5 dash. And then we can go to 5 3. Now we can access 5 3. And I'm going to get a mushroom before we go. All right, 5 3. Here we go. This is the level of the Bram Biles. First star coin, very easy. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so we have to wait until the brain balls out of the way. Throw the Koopa shell just now. That's it. Second star coin, very easy. That's all you gotta do. Third one's very easy as well. We just have to um, ride one of these donut blocks. And then as soon as we collect the star coin, we have to jump because we don't want to fall into the poison below. And we did it. Very easy, is all I gotta do. There we go. Um, now we're going to World 5-4, which is probably the most tedious level in World 5. Speedrunning this level is outrageously difficult. Because of the tricks you do with the propeller suit and stuff. But casually, it's not too hard. Okay, so this is a pretty easy level. It's not hard. It's pretty easy. You just have to just ride this platform to dodge all the enemies. Second, first star coin's right here. Basically, to get it, you have to do this. And there we go. Pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. First star coin. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, we have to hold this power block until now, and then now we can throw it to get our second star coin. That is all right so the third star coin we're gonna have to use um, a bob bomb
And there we go. We got our third our, our star coin. Wow, that was easy. I used to have trouble with this level back in the day. It's not that tough for me anymore. It's easy for me now, because I'm good at it now. I'm good at this game. I know I am. I'm good at the new Super Mario Bros. games. Dang it! I wanted to get the top of the flagpole. <laughs> That's alright. We can get other lives later just by getting top of the flagpole in future levels. So what level am I going to do next? 5-5 or the ghost house? I guess 5-5. I'm kind of glad we're going to do 5-5. Because I love this level. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. You ride on these manta rugs. <laughs> Excuse me. This level is very unique. All right, so there we go. All right, so let's get our propeller block so we can use it. First star coin, very very easy. That's all you gotta do. All right. There we go. This propeller block is handy. We're at the checkpoint already, which is good. I like this level. Although it is a slow paced level just because auto scroller, but still, it's still fun. We're gonna have to use the POW block in order to get the second star coin. Is it the second or third that I use POW block for? I just know it's one of them. Okay, right here we can ground pound this block and then we can get our propeller suit. Second star coin right there. Just watch out for these um, bullet bills. This is the power block we need for the third star coin. And it's underneath that W of coins. See the coins that shape like a W? You just have to wait until the right timing, which is now, and then toss it. And that's it. And that was World 5-5. <laughs> wow, we have 60 lives already. We're doing good about one-ups. We're doing really, really good. Yeah. And that this unlocks a path to the castle. All right, let's do the ghost house now. This is a very easy ghost house, actually. Um, so in order to do this one, what you got to do, you can use the light blocks if you need to, but I know where everything is, so I know they, they go in here to get the first star coin. There we go. First star coin, very easy. And then the second star coin is here. You have to drop down here. And there you go. That's how you get it.
That's the second star coin. And then now we're gonna have to um I think one of these doors has to do. Is there one of these doors that has a star coin? I think this is the one with the third star coin, if I'm not mistaken. Don't remember though. It is! I was right! <laughs> so we got all the star coins, and then now we're gonna do the regular exit. So the regular exit is this door right here, and then after. This is really the only level in World 5 that has a secret exit, which is... Th there's only one secret exit in World 5, but thankfully it's easy to find. Alright, this is the original exit. Top of the flagpole for the win like a boss. All right, so I only have to play this level one more time to get the secret exit, which I know is easy to find. This unlocks a path to both the castle and 5-5. Five -five. So we're gonna play it one more time to do the secret exit. And then after that, we'll do the castle. And then of course, we'll get all the star coins in the castle as well. And after that, we'll be done with World 5. I don't think we had any accident deaths in World 5. <laughs> Which was pretty much expected because this is my favorite world of the game and of course it's very easy So this was pretty much expected the only death I had to have in world 5 was just that one on purpose where I had to to navigate the blocked vines Whoa that was close. <laughs> uh, that was a bit risky to do too. I don't recommend it if you're playing it for the first time. I recommend just taking it the casual way. 62 lives. <laughs> we are cruising along. No accident deaths in World 5. That is awesome. The only death in World 5 there was was that one purpose death to navigate the blocked vines to open paths. And we pretty much had to have that. There we go. There we go. Other power-ups I really liked, I forgot to mention. I love the gold flower from New Super Mario Bros. 2, where you can turn blocks into coins. That one is awesome. And like I said, I really like the elephant power-up from Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And I also really like the drill power-up from Mario Wonder. And I love the bubble flower from Mario Wonder. That one's really awesome. And I really like, um... Both the propeller and penguin suits from this game. Of course, I like the squirrel suit from New Super Mario Bros. U, and I also like the cat suit from Super Mario 3D World. I also really like the double cherry from Mario 3D World. That one's kind of cool. And I also really like the ice flower from Super Mario Galaxy, because we can walk on water with that power up. And that's what I love about that power. Is the walk on water power up. There we go. This is a very easy castle, by the way. It's not hard by any means at all. It's super easy. Like I said, World 5 is one of the easiest worlds in this game. It's gonna be kind of sad that I'm gonna miss World 5. I kind of went through it quicker than I wanted to. But it's okay. 
<laughs> it's kind of good that I was able to go through it quickly too because it's good that I'm able to because it's good that I played well. But there's some other fun worlds coming up that I really enjoy. Get like worlds six, seven, and eight. Seven and eight especially. World six is an alright world. I, not. I like World 6, but I think I might like World 6 better than I used to did. Well, World 6 used to be like my least favorite world in the game because I had some bad memories of World 6. But now, I kind of like World 6 because I think World 6 is a fun world. Because it does have beautiful scenery. I do like that, and it is a beautiful world. I love World 7. I cannot wait to do World 7. That's another beautiful world I cannot wait to do. And I also can't wait to do World 8. That one's awesome. And I can't wait to do the final world, World 9, the hardest world in the game. That one's going to be fun as well. Basically what you gotta do for this boss is you gotta jump on him like this. You have to jump on Iggy of course and then like this. You have to watch out for his chain chomp. Jump on him again when you have the chance. Dodge his chain chomp. It's pretty easy. It's very similar to what you do with Iggy and New Super Mario Bros. 2. Excuse me. It's very simple. Got all the star coins in World Five. <laughs> Next up, we'll be doing World Six, which should be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's a mountain world, and I love mountain levels in games, so I cannot wait to do World Six next time. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedball.